Hello world, Soup.TV here. It is uh, coming upon winter time. Summer is ending, as you can tell by the weather. And it is time to winterize your house. That means it's time to prepare for the colder weather. Test your thermostat, make sure the heat comes on without going crazy. You know, you should run it, let it get ready to switch from blowing AC to heat, etc., etc. If you have the money to, you know, seal up your, your doorways and all that shit. You should dust, get ready for the allergy season to pass again. What else to winterize your house? You should go through and throw junk away, relieve yourself of the mental stress that comes with clutter, and of course, spray for bugs again. Chunk soup production. Yeah. So if you watch my last video, which is down in the description, which is about this raid, I give my review and thoughts and tell you how I use it, how it works best, blah, blah, blah. Now this bottle's full, I haven't pulled the tab yet. So I'm gonna go ahead, sweep outside, spray the inside of the closets, and then spray the perimeter of the house, maybe a couple spots inside that I know bugs can hide, like behind the couch, etc. But the other night I was up, me and my cat were chilling, and he found two bugs, you know, he's like, he's like a hound dog, he just sits there and goes, and then when you catch him, like, what the fuck is this cat looking at? Sure enough, there was a big airwig, and then there was one of those indoor roaches. I don't know if they're indoor, but it was indoor, so, you know. But I was like, man, it is that time, right? Because the bugs are like, it's getting cold outside. We got to find heat, warmth, comfort, and food. Just like the ants, they're going to go hide away, and the bees are going to go hide away because they worked all summer. But it's wintertime, you know? So, like I said, I'm going to do this. So if any bugs are trying to come in, let's try to stop them at the front door. Turn around, go to the neighbor's house, or die. You know what I'm saying? If you come in. However, hi baby. However, I realize that's not a good bug spray to kill a bug that's in your house roaming around. You know, an unwanted roommate. So I have to recommend a new raid. New bug spray, but it is raid. Bam! Raid, ant and roach. The red can. It's been red since I can remember. Maybe back to fourth grade. This has been the bug spray that you use that you, you put, you point, shoot, and they die. You ain't got time for them to wiggle around and stuff. This is the one that you get. You don't want them to fall off the wall and then get in a crevice and high. You want them to fall off the wall, stop moving, where you can get a paper towel and eliminate them. So, go out and get this one. Let me show you the can. So, this is Red Ant and Roach. SC Johnson, a family company. Yeah, they make a lot of stuff. Might want to buy some stock. It is good for ant roach. However, I think you could kill any bug that you pointed at. With little roly poly potato bugs, a moth, anything else that might come in. Spiders, of course. Kills on contact. That's what I'm talking about. No lingering chemical odor. Odor, sorry. No lingering chemical odor. I don't really like getting the fresh scent, lime fresh bug spray because then it reminds me that I sprayed for bugs. You see there, it's not for preventing bugs or controlling bugs, it's for attacking bugs. That means you've violated the boundaries of my space and my house, you gotta die. Unlike this one, this one's to prevent bugs. Like I said, it keeps them outside rather than coming in. So, soup.tv, I have been a bug spray enthusiast since I can remember my time back in Cleveland Heights, Ohio, all that. I'd rather spray them than crunch them. All right.